Hi there, my name is Ivan Fetch and I'm a Site Reliability Engineer with Fairwinds. I'd like to talk a bit today about using node labels and node selectors with your deployments in Kubernetes. What you see on my terminal here is a kubectl get node for two nodes in an AWS cluster. Because this cluster is in Amazon Web Services, there's a few labels that are set that are Amazon specific, like the region and the availability zone. Those start with failure domain. There's also some labels that describe the operating system being Linux, the architecture, the host name, and even the instance type, which is in this case m5.large. There's also a label that I've set here called lifecycle, and I've set that for the top node to be demand, and for the bottom node, I've set it to be spot. I've got a couple of deployments that I'll show you a snippet of their YAML, and they target these labels in the Kubernetes cluster to determine which nodes the applications should run on. For the first one, my app, you can see here that the label is set to lifecycle demand. The YAML path is spec.nodeselector.lifecycle. If we look at the second deployment called your app, you can see that is set to lifecycle of spot. So recall in the above node output that the first node with lifecycle set to demand had an IP address that ended in dot four, that's reflected in the node host name. The second one had an IP address that ended in, I believe, 216. If I show the pods that we have running in this cluster, I include the dash O wide flag. We can see which nodes each set of application pods is running on and that they've targeted the nodes specified by our labels. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.